When you flip a coin, the sample space listing all possible outcomes are either a head or a tail. So the number of all possible outcomes for the sample space is 2. When you roll a die, the sample space listing all possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So the number of all possible outcomes for the sample space is 6. In the deck of cards, there are four suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. Each suit has 13 cards, and 9 of them are number cards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 3 of them are the face cards, Jack, Queen, and King, and one of them is the ace. Since there are 13 cards in a suit, and a deck of cards have 4 suits, 4 times 13 equals 52. So, when you take a card from a deck of 52 cards, the number of all possible outcomes is 52. If you flip a coin and roll a die, you might get a head and a 1, or you might get a head and a 2. You could also get a tail and a 1, or you could also get a tail and a 2. Take a minute and list all possible outcomes. By listing all possible outcomes in the sample space, we can see that the number of all possible outcomes for the sample space is 12. Roll two dice. One is red and the other is white. You might get a 1 on the red die and a 4 on the white die. Or you could also get a 4 on the red die and a 1 on the white die. By counting all possible outcomes listed in the sample space, we can see that the number of all possible outcomes for the sample space is 36. Instead of using images to list the sample space, we could also use pairs of numbers to list the sample space. If you flip three coins, you might get all heads, or you might get all tails. You could also get head only on the first flip. Or you could also get tail only on the first flip. Take a minute and list all possible outcomes. By listing all possible outcomes in the sample space, we can see that the number of all possible outcomes for the sample space is 8. For any experiment, we can find the sample space by listing all possible outcomes one by one. But there are counting techniques that we can use to quickly count things without having to list them one by one. And we can use these counting techniques to find the probabilities of events.